Today we're talking about something that affects what we wear, how we live, and even what we eat. Climate. We're going to explore the major climate regions around the world, from the scorching heat of the tropics to the icy chill of the poles. So buckle up and get ready for a quick trip around the globe. Let's start with the tropical climate region. If you love warmth and rain, this is your kind of place. Tropical climates are found near the equator, where the sun's rays hit the earth most directly. These regions are known for being hot and humid, with temperatures that stay pretty consistent all year round, usually between 64 degrees Fahrenheit and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 18 degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius. You'll find tropical rainforests here, like the Amazon rainforest in South America and the Congo Basin in Africa. These areas get a lot of rain, sometimes more than 100 inches a year. So if you're in a tropical region, expect a lot of lush green vegetation and maybe a few surprise rain showers. Next up, we've got the dry climate region. This includes deserts and semi-arid areas where there's way more sand than rain. Deserts like the Sahara in Africa and the Gobi in Asia are super dry, getting less than 10 inches of rain a year. And when it does rain, it's often in short, intense bursts that can cause flash floods. But don't let the dryness fool you. Deserts can be incredibly hot during the day and freezing cold at night. There's not much plant life here, just some hardy shrubs and cacti that have adapted to survive with very little water. Moving on to the temperate climate region, this is where things start to cool down a bit. Temperate climates are found between the tropics and the polar regions in places like North America, Europe, and parts of Asia. Think of cities like New York, Paris, and Tokyo. These regions experience four distinct seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Summers are warm, winters are cold, and the weather is generally mild compared to the extremes of tropical and polar climates. Because of this, temperate regions are great for growing a variety of crops and are home to a lot of the world's population. Now, let's talk about the continental climate region. These are found in the interior of continents, away from the moderating influence of oceans. That means you get more extreme temperate differences, hot summers and cold winters. Places like Moscow in Russia or Chicago in the United States have continental climates. The big difference here is that winters can be really cold with temperatures often dropping below freezing for long periods. Snow is common in winter and summers can be quite warm. The big temperature swings are a hallmark of continental climates. Finally, we're off to the polar climate region. As the name suggests, these climates are found near the North and South Poles in the Arctic and Antarctica. Polar climates are characterized by long, freezing winters and short, cool summers. Temperatures often stay below freezing for most of the year. The land is covered by ice and snow and you won't find much vegetation, just some hardy mosses and lichens. Polar regions are also known for their unique wildlife, like polar bears in the Arctic and penguins in Antarctica. Living here isn't easy, but the animals and people who do have adapted to some of the harshest conditions on Earth. So what's the takeaway? The Earth's climate regions, tropical, dry, temperate, continental, and polar, each have their own unique characteristics and challenges. These climates shape the way people live, what they grow, and even how they build their homes. Understanding these regions helps us see the incredible diversity of our planet and why different parts of the world are the way they are. That's it for today's geography lesson. Next time you check the weather or see a nature documentary, think about the amazing climate region it's showing off and how it fits into the big picture of our planet.